Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? Well, whether she is singing Are You Lonesome Tonight or singing symphony pops, jazz, or hanging out with marvelous musicians who write signature songs, Dee Daniels has the rose breath and a number of techniques that make her a superb singer. Recently, one of her dreams came true. She is now based in New York City. It is my pleasure to welcome Dee Daniels back to Vancouver, back to Studio 4 to sing and tell us more. Hi, Fanny. Nice to see you, girlfriend. Great to see you, too. You're mm -hmm. looking good, girl. Hey, you, too. <laughs> like the, the hair. Oh, thank you. Good thank touch. You, <laughs> thank you always you. have good hair. Well, you know, I do my best. <laughs> you do your best. But because you're a diva, you can do that. Oh, Could you do yeah. that at the bank? I don't know. Uh, probably not. <laughs> no. Did you ever want to be a banker or a teacher? Uh, well, I was a teacher. I remember. Yeah, I was a teacher, but the banker, no. No. No, I'll let somebody else do that. Not your thing. <laughs> no, not So at when all. did music call you? Phone uh, rings, it's in your soul. Okay. Uh, I've had music in my life all my life. Uh, but for to become a professional musician was not in the cards. My mm -hmm. passion was art growing up, so my degree is in art education. Um, but so it wasn't until actually after I graduated from university that uh, I got into music uh, kind of as a hobby. And um, the band that I was hobbying around mm -hmm. with uh, asked me to get serious about it, you know, and uh, they invited me to join the band permanently, which I did, but I was teaching at the same time, and uh, realized after a year that I couldn't do them both, you know, because right. you're, you're teaching five days a week, and you're with the band traveling, mm -hmm. traveling around six nights a week, so sure. stop teaching. So music is her first love. Yes. Didn't you go to school in Montana? I did. See, so did I. You know that. That's right. I remember Other that. university. <laughs> but we'll talk the about that one, another yes, time. Yeah, I was a bobcat. You were a grizzly, but That's it all right. worked out. Uh, uh, New York City. New York City. How Hallelujah. did that come about? Hallelujah. Yeah, it's something that, uh, Fanny, I've been wanting to do for a while, but the timing was never right. You know, uh, I have a 23-year-old daughter, and uh, she was at home then. And my husband had a company that he was responsible for. So um, he sold his company uh, almost three years ago. And uh, my daughter moved out <laughs> in January. Think? You really think? <laughs> yeah, no, she knows. She knows. She's mm. been well prepared to move and it's stay. You're gone. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. you know. But she's happy. She loves it. So I said, okay, I, I think it's my turn now, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah. your turn means what? Uh, well, I, I left. I moved. You know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny that a lot of people say, well, you keep saying you moved. Did, does that mean that are you and Doug not together <laughs> anymore? <laughs> no, we just celebrated 25 years. You yes. Know? yes. And we're still honeymooning. But right now, his work is here mm -hmm. and mine is there. So uh, this is my first experience being here right now of living the bi-coastal life, which right. was the goal, you know, so. I like that idea. I do too, it's mm. pretty, pretty nice. I know? was telling you in the green room, I once had a relationship, a long relationship with a body of water in the middle. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Now, I said earlier that you have the rose breath. Yes. What does that mean? The rose breath is uh, a technique of breathing to access um, uh, full vocal support. And uh, it's based on the old uh, bel canto, the Italian bel canto mm -hmm. uh, way of singing, uh, learning to sing. And uh, in Italian, the translation is the smelling of the rose. And that's how subtle the breath should be in preparation mm -hmm. to uh, sing a phrase. So I just kind of, you know, brought, uh, changed the, the little title right. there to uh, a more contemporary um, uh, name and just call it the rose breath. Mm. So when you when you smell a rose, you know it's something that's very delicate. You know it's not, you know, right. or, you know. Um, so and that's all we need because uh, I think the average singer, <clears throat> in their minds, they've separated their voice. They have a singing voice and a speaking voice. But the reality is you only have one voice. Uh, the problem with the separation mentally is that you approach singing differently than you approach speaking. But if you only have one voice, then the approach should be very similar. 
So when we listen to uh, a Streisand, a Tony Bennett, a Justin Bieber, mm -hmm. well, maybe we can't put them all in the same category. Well, well, maybe, maybe, not, maybe not yet. <laughs> maybe not. How about a Katie Lang? <laughs> Katie, good. That's Katie good Lang, one. that's yeah. good, because she yeah. sings in how many octaves? Yeah, 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 she's great. Right. Yeah. And so what does she know about technique? Uh, I'm not sure what she knows, she knows. But, but I can tell from the sound of her voice that mm. she's very aware of how to use her voice properly. Okay. You know, so which also means not only are you going, you're going, going to get a, a nice, pure, round tone, but you'll have longevity. You know, because that's right. that's the other thing. Mm -hmm. uh, there's it is what, your instrument. It is your instrument, and a lot of pop singers these days cancel, have to cancel parts of. <clears throat> mm -hmm. This is morning. Adele. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Parts of tours because they they've worn their voices out. You know, they they've strained their voices because they do not have good technique. Mm -hmm. You know, and unfortunately, their management or whatever doesn't uh, take care of that aspect and right. getting them good uh, good uh, uh, technical foundation for the longevity, for the long okay, run. Okay, so what's know? the difference between you, a jazz singer, mm -hmm. and a singer, mm -hmm. and uh, an opera singer? The difference uh, in what you do? Well, uh, I think a, an opera singer certainly needs a lot more flexibility in their voices than a non-classical singer. Mm -hmm. An opera singer trains in one area of the range, you know, uh, whereas a non-classical singer, you have, you can, you know, right. it's, it's good. You're to not a mezzo soprano exactly, or a, a you baritone know, exactly, necessarily. Exactly. That's, that's so correct. when you listen to someone sing who doesn't sing all that well but has a big rep, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> you know, <and laughs> yeah. lots of millions, <laughs> yeah, right. and I, uh, people will often say, he's screaming, yeah. or she's screaming, yeah. but she, and she really can't sing. Yeah. Not that she's not making a bundle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's going on there? Just bad technique. Really? Yeah. The, the, in a nutshell, in a word. Do you think you know. everyone can sing, or is it a, a God-given uh, gift? I, everyone can sing unless there's some uh, Im physical impairment, but everyone can sing. People obviously have a gift, and there's varying degrees of that gift. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody can learn to sing better. Okay. Okay. Well put. Yes. Well put. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. uh, w uh, your love of vocal music is, is known. Uh, you, is who accompanies you and why? And how do you pick that? How do you know when there's magic? Um, well, sometimes you, you have an opportunity to handpick uh, mm -hmm. the, the people that you're going to work with. Uh, and sometimes you're you're kind of just put into a situation. So um, you know that that the being put into a situation really frightens a lot of uh, singers, especially because mo many many singers don't consider themselves musicians as well. There's and you know mm -hmm. in that world there's a separation between a vocalist and a musician. Mm -hmm. You know, but there is uh, uh, some musicianship with the singer. Sure. But when you buy, as if the singer buys into that, well, there's going to be some problems. You know, and there's going to be a lot of mm -hmm. uh, uh, nervousness and and fear. Oh God, am I worthy? I I don't know how to talk to these people. So uh, what I always encourage my young students to do is first of all. Um, to get as much education as you can. Uh, that's something that when I was coming along, it, it wasn't there, you mm -hmm. know, unless you went into classical music, right? right? So get as much education as possible to, uh, to learn the jargon so you can communicate with the musicians, you know, and, and all of this stuff, information is light, right? Sure. It just lights up the darkness, so it mm -hmm. makes you more confident and uh, you know, able to right. Uh, so you connect. can actually sing with the symphony orchestra and yeah. feel part of it. And uh, yeah, as so many musicians I know, when they're working, there's the, all those looks. Yeah, like a band's playing together, and the, the bass <laughs> guitar looks at the yeah, other right. guy, oh, and it's yeah. all about don't yeah. get too much Botox because I need to give you that look. Yeah, right. <laughs> Right? That's true. Is it true? Because yeah. you're playing. So yeah. how do you signal? Yeah. Well, you know. Uh, how do you know? First you're of way all, off, it, toots. Yeah. <laughs> part part of it is an attitude. You know, mm. attitude. Uh, I I'm not a singer with a band. Right. We are a unit. The mm -hmm. unit can be myself plus two or three or four or ninety in a, in an orchestra. It doesn't matter. So uh, if when you think that way, it automatically gets you into that uh, that state of mind where you you realize that you're working together as a unit. You've all come together agreeing mm -hmm. on this song, this style, this tempo, 
to to give to 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 whoever's in in the hall. Right, you're time. sharing the stage truly, yeah, and yeah, you're sharing truly, each other truly. And do you know immediately when, if the magic's there, or yeah, or, or <laughs> you do? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yep. Yeah, mm. No, not pretty much. I do know. <laughs> you do know, and <laughs> you <laughs> politely say, you know, the guy in the piano. Well, you know, <laughs> yeah, you, you you do you register in your mind, but then you have to release that, because right. the bottom line is. Uh, uh, what you're going to be able to, to do together, right? So just the release of that kind of judgment, sure. right, uh, just gives you that opportunity for some magic to happen mm -hmm. in spite of somebody All else's All of that. Ability. Well, you made some magic in this town, lots of magic in this town, and you're going to go to Washington, D.C., or did uh, you do that already? No, th that's done. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be here first. Uh, then I'm going to be at the, uh, this is Friday night, at the Alex Goulden uh, Hall in Victoria on Saturday night and then in Courtney on Sunday night and uh, the Washington thing uh, there's a Washington State thing happening and that is I've just been named the uh, artistic director for the Frank DeMiro Jazz Fest. Oh congratulations yeah. well, that's you. a big gig yeah that's, isn't it? Yeah, yes the artistic yeah. director and who yes. was he? Frank DeMiro is uh, in the uh, jazz vocal world is a guru Okay. You know, he's a guru. Uh, everybody knows this man, uh, not only in the United States, but mm -hmm. in Canada and other places around sure. the world. Uh, maybe Duke Ellington, maybe not. <laughs> but tell me about that, because that's why you're here. Third <laughs> Annual Duke Ellington this uh, is Sacred our, Music Concert at the St. Right. Andrews Wesley. St. Andrews Wesley Church, Friday, this Friday night, the 18th at 8 p.m. Uh, and uh, I am the, the female vocalist. Along with me is Marcus Mosley in the mm. male vocalist role. Uh, the Fred Stride Jazz Orchestra, Alex Dugdale, New York Tap Dancer, and the Sacred Music Gospel Choir. How yeah. wonderful. Yeah, it's, it's quite a production. And good acoustics in St. West. It, yes, it, we, St. we figured it out, you know, because I've, I've been in St. Andrews Wesley many times, right? And it's a, it's a tricky place, as is most churches, but mm -hmm. we figured it out. We have a great sound company, uh, ABW, Telav. And uh, they've made magic happen Great, there. Yeah. Because you've sung in a church before. Yes. And I want to say that uh, all the proceeds from this goes to First United Church. Oh, fantastic. Yes, yes. Because uh, they provide a fantastic service, as you know, to the mm -hmm. Vancouver's downtown yes, they do. east side. Yes, you they do. You can't imagine what that place would be without them. I know. You they know, really so. do good work. Yeah. Nice to see you. Thank you. Do you have an extra bedroom in New York? I do for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> D. Daniels.